It's time now to check your money with America's Money Maven, Vicky Brackens. Vicky Brackens is the president of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, and a registered representative of LPL Financial, member SIPC. Vicky, man, hey, oh George. man, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing very, very well. Very, very well. I guess I'll just stop right there. Stop I'm right there, huh? Something about the weather, but I'm not going to say anything because I'm Please. doing very, very well. Okay. About that, how about yeah. that? So, how are you? So, I said, How are you doing? You ready? You ready for uh, what you got for me today? Well, I mean, we just completed a very nice week of celebration for the Martin Luther King holiday, and as you as you know, that um, this evening, I think we have a big event going on at, at the dome this evening. Uh, Hopefully, yes. everyone will be there for the Martin Luther King um, uh, celebration and dinner with um, our own. Has to Phil Turner, who our will be very bringing, own, our bringing, very bringing, own, very very own, who will be bringing this uh, the message tonight. And um, you know, we've, we've got an action packed next couple of weeks coming up. I'll talk more about the announcements, but one of the things I want to make sure to remind everyone to do is to share, like, and subscribe. I've been really happy with the reaction we're getting, George, to our new shorts. That is that what you call them? Reels or shorts? Okay, that that have been showing up on yeah, yes, face, uh, yes. Facebook and and on YouTube. But um, I saw something in um, a report this week that I want to make sure that we share, and that is the fact that we've been talking about over and over inflation and how inflation is impacting everything in 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 uh, is in our lives, along with uh, what's happening with our own retirement savings. But here's a, an interesting point that some research revealed uh, that was done by um, Tia Kreff, uh, and that is the fact that there is an element of our retirement savings that we are not paying attention to enough that may have an even bigger impact on our retirement success. And guess what that is, George? I want you to guess. Mm. Okay, there's an element... A, a small element that we're not I paying didn't say attention small to. Now. Okay. Oh, it's a bit okay. That we're not paying attention to that has a significant impact on our retirement success. Yes. Is that paying attention to the market? Is it um not so it's not market based. It's savings. No, it's uh IRA. No, I, I'm gonna help you out here. I'm way off, huh? You're way off, so I'm going to stop you, okay? I, I'm not even... Hey, wait, wait. Am I in the ballpark or if I'm still driving up to it? <laughs> you're driving up to the ballpark, George, okay? You're not... Hey, wait, you're wait. Not hey, Vicky, yet. I'm in traffic, um, ain't I? I'm in traffic, ain't I? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Here is the element that we have forgotten to have discussion about that is more... In fact, they are finding out from the research that, you know, as I said, Tia Kreff, um, had done with along with George Washington University, longevity. We are not paying enough attention to the impact that longevity has on your retirement success. Because the longer you live and not understanding what your true longevity is more likely to be is causing all of the formulas that we have always used to be oh. insufficient in its impact for retirement success. Mm. So, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times we talk about the fact that men have a um, better understanding. I'm not so sure if this is still true, but to statistically and historically, men have had a better understanding of the investment markets because of exposure and, and, and education and things of that nature, that um, they have greater risk tolerance. So they tend to be more involved in market conditions, although Women have caught up in many of those categories. But when you test and have conversations with both men and women, 
to measure how accurately they are estimating their longevity, we're finding that only about 43% of women actually have demonstrated a true understanding of longevity and only 32% of men. So what does that really mean? If you believe that you are going to live a shorter lifespan than what's being shown statistically to happen, it means that what you are saving, how you are structuring your portfolios, how you are planning for expenses, how well you are calculating for, for uh, what's going to happen with inflation and continued rising prices is going to be short significantly based on what you are using as the factors for longevity. So what should we do about this? Well, first of all, truly understanding what the longevity looks like. So for a man age 60, mm -hmm. entering retirement, Statistically, the age category is about 20 or the number of years is about 22 years in retirement that has to be planned for. That's a long time. That's a long time. Okay. But here's a bigger one. For a woman age 60, the numbers of years in retirement is about 25. Mm -hmm. Now, that does not mean if you're 60 now, you only have 25 years to go. That means if you retired at 60 more than likely you're going to have to self-fund your retirement years for 25 years. Pay yourself for 25 years if you're a woman or pay yourself for 22 years if you're a man. And that is a very long time to actually have to control, take the assets that you have and control and stretch that over basically two generations in order to continue to fund and do the things that you need in retirement. As my grandmother used to say, we don't want to run out of money before we run, we out, run of out of time. Mm. Do not run out of money before you run out of time. So here are three key areas that I think we should all look at. And this, you know, it's, it's what was that? All old things become new again. All things become new again. So when I was starting out in my career back 37 and a half, almost 38 years ago, we talked about the three-legged stool. You may remember that, George, because you were in banking at that time. Three-legged stool, three areas of income that you need to have minimally when you're creating a retirement income bucket. You know, we've, we've gotten away from looking at multiple income buckets, but we need multiple sources of income. The three major ones that we need to go back and examine to make sure we have in place our, of course, our social security and understanding not only that we have it, but how to maximize it. Mm -hmm. Secondly, guaranteed income products or guaranteed income sources of income. That would be an additional pension or some type of self-funded guaranteed income sources like an annuity. And third, your own personal investments because your own personal investments not, will now create a nice three-layered cake or a three-legged stool of multiple sources of income. Why is that most important? Nothing is perfect. So you have now levers that you can move through different, in, through different areas of the market. And when I mean market, I mean the environment. So when certain things are working better, you can use your investments when the investment market is working really well. You can switch back and forth to your income products, guaranteed income products. You always have the social security as your mainstay throughout. But until we stop and really look at the issue of longevity, many of our retirement plans are going to be short shift shrift as far as the amount of money that we have prepared for in retirement. Well, George, uh, I'm gonna close with a couple of announcements. We're getting closer. Closer and closer. We're now basic, basically about a month away, Black History Month Jazz and Arts Cabaret that's sponsored by Bracken's Financial Solutions Network, which is being held now at the at the downtown Marriott on February 26th. You better get your tickets. Tickets have been on sale now for a couple of weeks, and the, and the, I get a, a count every week, and the, the amount of tickets still available is getting smaller and smaller, fewer and fewer each week. So make sure you go online at cnyjazz.org, because you need to be there to help us celebrate Mr. George Kilpatrick's accomplishments 
over the last 20 years wow. as far as the, the Pioneer Public Service Award. I want the whole community to be there. I, so we I, can I need you to show up for your boy. Okay, <laughs> show up for Mr. Kilpatrick so we, we can all celebrate exactly what has happened with, I want to do this, George, with the voice, the okay. voice of Central New York. Come on now. And, right. and, and, and if they do show up, there's a couple of nice jazz artists that they'll get to see That's as well. true. Okay. okay. Amazing okay. jazz artists there. Okay. With Althea Renee and Janet and Janet Harris for us Come to in, enjoy okay. and, and make sure that we all, I think this year we might even be able to dance, George. Let's go. Okay. I think we may be able to if everything holds up. And finally, if you have questions, feel free to give us a call at area code 315 930 4499 or reach out to us at info at brackensfsn.com. And at this point, I will say our plate is full. All right. Vicki Brackens is the president of Brackens Financial Solutions Network, LLC, and a registered representative of LPL Financial, member SIPC. She is America's money maven. <laughs>